spider webs. This is an arachnophobe's worst nightmare. Big cobwebs in the darkest corners of your shed. The terrifying thought of not knowing what lurks inside. Face first into a big web, sends chills down your spine. Not for me. In this video, I will show you not only the beauty of a spider web, but its strength and how it is made and just some of the many different kinds of spider webs, all for different purposes. Once again, it's time to turn fear into fascination. Silk is a protein with amazing properties. For the strongest types having a breaking strain of that of a steel wire. Furthermore, silk can stretch to roughly double its length before it breaks. Silk is produced by abdominal silk glands. The proteins are made up of chains of amino acids, which are dissolved in a water-based solution. The spider pushes the liquid through long ducts leading to microscopic spigots on the spider's spinnerets. Each spigot has a valve that controls the thickness and speed of the extruded material. As the spigots pull the protein molecules out of the ducts and extrude them to the air, the molecules are stretched out and linked together to form long strands and the spinnerets wind these strands together to form a sturdy silk. There are at least seven different kinds of silk glands known to exist. Each gland produces its own kind of silk for a specific function. No spider family possesses all seven types of glands and it tends to be the web building families that have the greatest profusion. Some of the world's largest webs are made up of some of the world's smallest spiders. These are Indian social spiders. Of the known 45,000 species of spider, only 25 species live in social colonies. The colony works together to build and maintain the web, catch prey and raise offspring. Indian social spiders live in large colonies of several hundred individuals. The social system allows them to catch much larger prey than the solitary spider, working together to kill it, then eat it. The largest spider web in the world is thought to belong to the Darwin's bark spider from Madagascar, which spins its gigantic orb web over entire rivers. The main anchor thread that holds the web in place to both river banks can be as long as 25 metres, with the actual main orb being as large as 2.8 square metres. This is the one of a kind famous golden cape. The beautiful natural in gold colour hand woven detailed cape took 8 years to create. This is some of the largest pieces of cloth made from spider silk. 
which was made by Simon Piers, an Englishman who has lived in Madagascar for more than 20 years, and Nicholas Godley, an American who has also worked for many years in Madagascar. There were 1.2 million gold orb weaving spiders collected in the highlands of Madagascar in order to make the cape. The spiders were pinned around their limbs to keep them in place. Silk was then extracted from the spiders, spinning the threads and weaving to embroider the finished piece. The spiders were then let back into the wild. Spiders that depend on their webs to catch prey are actually very clumsy without it. A bit like taking fish out of water. But on the web, these animals are formidable hunters. Spiders take time in repairing their complex structures every day. So next time you see this big web in your garden or in the shed, don't destroy it, admire it. At the end of the day, it's a home. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I hope you have learned a little something from this video. Thank you for watching, and as always, like, comment, and subscribe.